Hi guys, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can build a sequence counter or a pulse counter and therefore I have this little setup here. I can press the button and only uh, every four times the lamp will light up and go off again. So again, one, two, three, and when I press it the fourth time the lamp will turn on. So um, I got this idea while playing around with my timer, so I want to show you this one uh, real quick too. It was one of my first tutorials that I made, and this is a uh, timer when you give it an input, uh, the light will turn on for a certain time, and then it turns off again until you give it another input. I used it, for example, in my automated uh, brewing stand to uh, count the time while the potions are running through. And uh, this counter there works on the same uh, concept, so let's build it. We start by placing a dropper and a hopper. And this will store our information in our system. And um, then, like over here, we will get an output from the dropper to see if there's an item inside. Place a block here and a repeater, one below. And uh, we need a redstone dust under this block, so just like this. So when I place in some items here, for example now 6 one, um, the hopper will be locked. But the problem is, when I now press the button here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, only one of the items gets shifted back in the time that the repeater turns off. And um, yeah, to solve this problem, we can place a redstone torch over here, like on the timer, with a redstone here, that will, uh, that's a little T, uh, not a T flip flop, but it's an RS flip flop kind of. And uh, then uh, we also place a block here, a comparator, because right now when I press the button, these uh, flip flop won't reset. So right now all the items are back, but they won't, uh, uh, yeah, nothing would happen if uh, I press the button now because the hopper is not blocked anymore. So we need another comparator here to see if uh, this thing is empty to reset our RS flip-flop. And then we place just a block, a redstone torch on the side, block on top and redstone here. And this resets the RS flip-flop, so that's already it. And you can grab your output from here with a repeater or from uh, this side here, um, just with a repeater too, because it would uh, otherwise connect with this torch. And yeah, that's it. So you have a sequence counter. If you like this tutorial, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I would say thanks for watching.